Hello all. In this video, I am going to discuss that how to avoid burnout during UPSC preparation. See, as you all know that UPSC is quite exhaustive syllabus and the exam is quite competitive. It's the topmost exam. So definitely there is too much of competition and the syllabus is lengthy. So you need to study a lot of subjects. So definitely there is a lot of pressure on your mind. But you can still avoid the stress, the burnout during the UPSC preparation and for that you need to keep few things in mind and out of that the first and the most important thing is that you should not focus on result. See Gita says that don't think about the results just believe in your karma but you need to implement that. If you will focus on your work, if you will focus on your studies and if you will not think that what will happen if I don't clear the exam then you can be relieved from the stress. So. Concentrate on your work, what you need to study, what you need to practice, rather than thinking that what will happen after the result or something. So, if you will focus on your work, concentrate on your work, definitely it will relieve the stress. The second thing is that as the exam, the process itself is quite lengthy, so you need to have a disciplined life, disciplined routine. Every day you need to study whatever the number of hours that you have decided, 6 hours, 8 hours, 10 hours. But that should be done in a very disciplined way. It is not that you are enjoying for a few days and then you are studying for 12, 14 or 15 hours. This will not work. This creates stress. So, you don't need to be undisciplined. You should follow a very disciplined thing. And in that routine, you need, you can keep half an hour or one hour for your relaxing moment like watching TVs or something. So lead a disciplined life and study regularly and take breaks also regularly because relaxing for a few days totally and then focusing totally on studies, this may create some stress in your mind. So live a disciplined life and follow the routine regularly. Then the third thing is you must have few good friends with you, right? Because the most the best thing which gives you relax, which relaxes your mind is discussion with your friends, enjoying with your friends. So you must have the peer group with your friends, two, three friends who are also seriously preparing for UPSC. So when you discuss the stress or how to study about the life, so you get relaxed. So you must have two, three, not more because then it will distract from your studies. But you must have two, three good friends so that you can relax with them. Then the other thing that you need to keep in mind is that you should not compare with others. For example, I have seen that a lot of students are studying their subject and suppose you are forgetting while you are preparing and you are forgetting whatever you have read. Then you start, there is a depression that whatever I am reading, you are I am forgetting. And don't compare that he has done that or that and he is getting this much marks or he is saying that he has covered all the syllabus. Please don't compare. Everyone is different. And you exactly don't know that what process he has followed since when he is preparing. So believe in yourself and be confident about yourself and don't compare your strategy, follow your strategy, your strategy is good. So don't compare because comparison gives you stress. Then don't, the next thing is don't keep on changing the sources that you are studying for your preparation. Because changing, so if you change the sources, it creates confusion and then again it creates stress. So of course, definitely when you are starting your preparation, then first interact with your seniors or students and finalize on your content, what you need to follow. But once you have decided, keep on referring that, don't change it because in this exam, confidence and is more important than whatever extra other things you are covering. So take standards books. Repeatedly follow it. it. Definitely after 2-3 iterations, you will develop confidence and it will help you in your results also. Right? So, and the next, the last thing which I would say is that have some faith in God. Whatever happens, happens for good. So, believe, no, don't just, it, it is not for saying purpose only, believe in this. So, if you have belief in God, if you have belief in yourself, definitely it automatically relaxes your mind. So have faith in God, have faith in yourself, study hard and don't think about the result is the mantra to de-stress you. Thank you.